Today, I'm gonna take this absolutely trashed piece of furniture and I'm gonna make it into a treasure. You guys have seen me do this before. This one's gonna be a little fun. I'm going to take some really trendy things in the interior design space right now, Roman clay and arches, and I'm gonna give this a whole new look. So this furniture makeover starts right now. I'm Christina Mascari and I flip furniture for a living. I take things like this that look really terrible and like they should go in the landfill and I save them. So I've kind of been inspecting this piece and these doors definitely have to go. They are not worth repairing. I'm gonna try to make this look more like a bookshelf than a armoire. So I'm gonna start by removing these. This is already looking so much better to me. My plan is to build an arch in here, but we'll get to that later. First, I wanna show you all I've done <laughs> to investigate this piece and strip back this existing finish. This is latex. I could tell by the way that it looks plasticky and it's peeling. So here I used a heat gun. Here I did a chemical stripper and then this was just some sanding. So my plan is I don't wanna stain pine. It doesn't look pretty stained. So we're gonna go for a textured Roman clay look, which is super hot right now. People do it on their walls. They do it on bookcases, on hoods, on fireplaces. So I'm gonna put it on furniture today. To use my Terra clay paint, I don't need this stripped back to bare wood, so I only need to get to this original finish here and scrape this latex paint off. I'm gonna do this a combo of ways. It's probably gonna take me a long time, but I'm gonna start with a scraper and get that excess paint off, and then I'm gonna go in with my sander and just get any remaining latex paint off. for two hours. This is where, I think it's pretty good. This is where we're gonna leave it. I'm doing a textured finish so it doesn't have to be completely smooth. Um, normally you see me clean before I sand, but because there was so much paint on here, I wanted to get some of that off. Now that I've got all that off, I wanna get the dust and the grime and the grease off that might be left behind. So I'm gonna mix some of my Dixie Belle White Lightning in some warm water and we're gonna clean this whole thing. Finally ready to paint. I don't know if this thing is worth it, you guys, but I got it for free. So we, I always love to try to give it a shot. Um, and when I have a piece like this, I don't really care about that much. I love trying out new products. And today I'm gonna use the Terra clay paint. This is from Dixie Belle. This is a clay-based paint. Um, it's really textured. You can chunk it up and we're gonna go for lots of texture and try to make this look like Roman clay. To get the look I'm going for, they recommend using a natural bristle brush like this and dampening it. So I'm just gonna spray it a little bit and then start painting. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm painting in a very different motion because I wanna get like a lot of texture when this dries down. It's really chalky and clay-like looking. So I'm trying to get this stipple motion going so it'll give it lots of nice texture. where I'm ready to build my arch. I'm gonna do that before I paint the inside. Now I have done a little template here. So this is what I'm hoping to accomplish with wood. So I'm gonna start by measuring and then cutting my plywood down to size. Okay, so I used basic elementary <laughs> math to just make an arch with this. If you tie a string to a point on your board, you're gonna be able to get the arch that you want. And I've marked off where I need to cut, and this is gonna be really easy just to cut this whole thing out with my jigsaw, so that's what I'm gonna use. to attach this to the top and then I'm gonna have to secure it some other way but I'm gonna get it up there first and figure that out this is definitely DIY this is not fine woodworking skills so bear with me here but I don't like how this is flapping here um, and it turns out that my paint stir sticks are the perfect support thing for here so I'm just using some wood glue to secure this to here and it's actually going to work as a spot where I can put my wood filler in here because I made it just a little bit too small so we're going to fill all that in with wood filler. Okay now that I have this in here the gap is really small so I think it's a better idea to just use some all-purpose caulk in here instead of using wood filler. While all this is drying, I'm gonna start the second coat on everything else and work my way in the middle to start painting that. Okay, I'm getting really great coverage on the second coat. I'm really, really liking it. It looked crazy earlier, but as it dries, it gets way lighter. So it has that beautiful like stone Roman clay effect. So that's something to keep in note when you're painting, it will lighten up a lot. I'm back for day two. I let this set overnight because before you seal it, you wanna let it set a long time since I have so much paint on here and you're stippling all that paint on here. And because I'm stippling so much paint on, I ran out of paint and I had to go get a second can of paint. So this is 16 ounces. I used this whole thing. I got another one and I probably used four more ounces out of there, but I only ended up doing one coat on the inside and I kind of like how that has less coverage. So it's monochromatic, but it's giving me like a different look and feel. So I'm finally ready to seal and Terra Paint has its own sealer. This is a matte sealer and I'm just gonna apply it with a synthetic brush.
freaking out about the color difference. I was at first, but I did a sample board of this earlier and this dries down completely flat to look just like what you started with. I actually like it because I can tell where I'm putting my top coat on and I'm just putting it on really thin and you can see some of this white milkiness in the top coat that will dry down too and it will go completely flat and clear. So don't freak out about that. Okay, so I did two coats of top coat. This takes a really long time to dry. This paint reconstitutes when it's wet. So this took about like two hours in between coats, which is a lot longer than normal top coats. So keep that in mind. But as you can see, it dried down back to that original color. It looks beautiful. You can't even tell there's no streaks, no nothing. And it still has this texture. So I love that. So to finish this off, like the texture is the star of the show. So I don't want to detract from that too much. So I have a really simple brass brush knob that I got off of Amazon and I'm gonna put these on. Just to remind you, here is what we started off with, and here it is now. Okay, I'm pretty shocked with how this turned out. This is gorgeous. I feel like it looks like a built-in. I would definitely put this in my home. The arch, I could definitely do better on. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, one side looks great. The other side, I have a huge gap and I had to put a lot of caulk in there. So I can do better on that next time. I know I can, um, but I had so much fun with this new paint. I love the Roman clay look. I love incorporating those other design elements like the arch into it and giving it a whole new look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeover. I will be back soon with another one and I will see you next time.